Oh goodness, hello YouTube and welcome to my channel Morning Harvest. So what I'm gonna do is a little bit of plant maintenance tonight. Um, I'm usually able to do all of that um, in one day, but since I've um, been sick, I haven't been able to do a lot of things. So I have to do a little bit, stop, rest. Do a little bit, stop, rest, and it's really hard for me. And I had my husband taking my Monstera Deliciosa out of this basket so I could put it in a um, cash pan so I could water it and he broke my leaf and so I'm trying to figure out can I propagate this little leaf. I don't like things to break off and die. I just don't. So what I'm going to start with tonight, I'm downstairs in my bathroom. This is in my bedroom. So remember when I showed this plant, I said I was going to get out of this dirty water. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with it so I can use these two vases that's down here on the floor that's already washed. I'm going to lay that across there for the roots to um, dry off a little bit. So let's go ahead and get this one started. So I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of this water. I just clean my toilet and all of that and now this stuff is gonna get on there. I'll just clean it again. So I'm gonna go over here to the sink. I don't know if you guys can see me at the sink. Uh-oh, damn, I just knocked my leaf down. Hold on a second. It's probably good and ruined now. So I'm just gonna go over here to the sink. Let me test the water. Okay, that's an okay temp. And I'm just going to um, wash my roots out in the sink. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna wash your roots off. So it's still got some soil in it. I really need to take it outside and do that so the roots that fall off. I'll fall off outside and not down my sink and clog my sink up. So let me bring this camera down so I can get my fingers on the roots and try to get the roots clean. Okay, so I'm back and I've um, rinsed off the roots the best I could. And see, I'm, I don't have any filling in my fingers, so I kind of didn't go in hard on the roots to wash them. I was trying to get all the soil off and get all of the soil roots off. Because when you're um, converting your plants to LECA or pines or whatever, what you want is you want to get rid of the soil roots, any type of root rot, which this doesn't have root rot. This is soil that's on these roots. But there's these little stringy roots, like that little stringy thing right there. That's a soil root, so you want to get rid of that. And um, what you want is you want... Uh oh, I'm getting this more things. Let's see what it does. So what you want is you want water roots to start growing. And usually um, these main roots, these big roots just out here, these, they'll start turning green. Then they'll start growing these nice water roots. Once they start growing the water roots, that's when you know that your plant is ready for LECA or pines or to just um, grow in the water. So let me lay that back down there so those roots can continue to dry off a little bit before I stick them back in their vase. So I've already washed this vase with um, bleach. I washed it. I've dried the outside of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up with nutrient water. And I only feed, well, I only water my plants with distilled water. So what I do is I water them. Um, used to be once a week, but I'm going to change that back to when I think about it. And I'll tell you guys why I'm going to change it back to when I think about it, when I do the video about why a lot of my plants is in water, um, and lacquer and stuff. So, but this week they're going to get fed. So this is what I'm going to feed them. The Fox Farm Comeback Formula. I'm gonna put that in there. And I'm going to do the Fox Farm liquid plant food, grow big. So this, both of these is for hydroponics. So, you know, semi-hydroponics or hydroponics. So when it's hydroponics, you're gonna mix it with this stronger, but I'm doing semi-hydroponics. So I'm gonna make, make a weaker solution in one gallon of distilled water, and I'm gonna pour it on the plants. So I'll be making that up. 
well the plants are still um roots are still drying so for these i'm just going to take these out of here because i have some bases for these i'm going to take the both this one and the other one back there behind me out of this i'm going to wash the roots off really good try to get as much soil off as possible and i usually spray the roots with um super thrive and neem spray but i'm not going to do that because that's what con that was that contributes to making my um water cloudy and stuff so this is the vase that these are going to go in each one has its own little vase so that's the vase that's going to go in and um once i get done washing those roots off i'm going to what's back here oh the, the toilet roll holder I'm going to make up the solution and put it in there. So let me wash these roots. Okay, so I have my nutrient water um, made up. I've made it up, and um, which was two teaspoons of the Fox Farm Comeback Formula. You know what? I did not even put my earrings on. Usually what I do is when I'm around my plants, um, I don't come around my plants looking raggedy, okay? I fix myself up. I put my little head wrap on or whatever. I got some locks up under here now on my hair. I have my little earrings on sometimes. I have all my, my bracelets, all of that stuff. You know, when I come to be around my plants and take care of my plants, I come dressed. I come with good energy, you know? So, um, I made it up with two teaspoons of the Fox Farm Boomerang Comeback Solution and two teaspoons of the Fox Farm Grow Big, and I've already put it in my watering can, so I'll be able to handle it better. So, let me make sure that's emptied out. I wash this with bleach. Um, oh yeah. So, I've washed off these two roots. I mean, not roots, yeah, I did wash the roots off. So, I wash off the roots. We got a little yellow leaf, so I'm just going to Pull that yellow leaf off. It's no longer needed. I mean, once they turn yellow, there's no coming back from that. Now, if you've got a brown one, you know, it's turning brown at the tip and coming up, you can cut that off because that's from lack of water. When they turn yellow like this, this is too much water. So I got the roots as clean as I could. Now, the aglonemus can be grown solely in water, but my goal is to get these roots to turn green, get them to um, grow water roots because I want to put them into LECA. That's what I want to do. Now this um, leaf on here is, look like it's turning a little yellow, but it's still green. And I'm just gonna let it go ahead and do its thing, then I'm gonna pull it off. So eventually I'm gonna be able to get all of these roots clean. Um, that's what I had to do to the four aglodemas um, upstairs. I had to keep them in water. When I, Every time I change out the water, wash the roots, wash the roots, try to get all the soil off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing for these for a while. Now, this is, these two is the um, Deffenbacher. I think these are the Deffenbacher Tiki, Tiki, Tiki um, variety. I think I'm not sure, but I got as much soil off the roots as I could. So like I said, and I also pulled off the um, soil roots. I think I said that previously. So this is just gonna be a long task. Now there's some people that successfully grow their um, Deffenbachers in water, and I wanna be that person too. Um, but I really want to get mines over to Lekka. If it doesn't like Lekka, then I'll try it in Pines. And I'm so mad because, um, do you say Lechuza? Lechuza, I think that's how you say it. Um, they were having a sale on their Pines. And so I got I me mean, two 18 liter bags. Um, they were 15% off, I believe. Yeah, because it had to be an order of $75. So they were 15% off. So I got two, I thought I was gonna get two two liter, I mean two 18 liter bags for 60 something dollars. Well, kind of think of, they knocked me, they hit me up for shipping. Shipping was $13, tax was like $7 and something. But anyway, I forgot to finish checking out. <laughs> so when I remember, girl, you ain't checked out. I um, went, got my debit card, put it in, all the LECA, I mean not LECA, all the puns was sold out. I'm so mad. So the sale started yesterday and I think it goes kind of, it's going to go from the May 22nd to June the 1st. So hopefully they have some more back in stock. I'm just going to be checking every day, every day, every day because on Amazon, they're charging 80 something dollars for one bag of the Lechuza Pond and that doesn't make any sense. So like I told my husband, if I can't um, catch, oh, this one's turning yellow too. 
I don't think they like water. So they might be in Gwen and Pines quick or Lekka, or if not, I'll just drop them back in soil. I don't want them in soil because, you know, there's in that issues. But I told my husband, if I cannot get the pines on sale, the pond on sale, they better like Lekka or they better like Lekka. Let's just say that. So if these die, I'm just going to go buy some more. So let's go ahead and get them back into their little vase. Uh oh, I don't want to break this vase. So I gotta be careful. And um, oh wait a minute, I don't want to break any roots either. So I'm gonna be really careful. So they've dried a little bit. Now you can um, like when I'm doing this. I usually let the roots um, dry for hours, but it's nighttime here and I'm tired. Um, I'm really tired, so they're in here. And I'm going to try to put as much as a nutrient solution up to cover all the roots. And I hope they like this. I really do hope they like this nutrient solution. Boy, that's taking a lot, huh? Okay. I'll get this over here. All right, that is enough. So back over here, you go. Pour this water down the toilet, which I already got some soil and a few roots in my sink, so I think my sink might get clogged, so I guess I'm going to be a plumber because I do not like for people to come to my house, especially now since um, there's COVID, so I really don't want to be in my house. Okay, got that over there. My root came off. Oh, my root came off. Okay, you'll be okay. So, the next one, and I'm thinking that these were maybe a little too big, but the smaller ones, the roots are too big for it, so they're going to have to go in here, and they're going to have to love it. Make sure there's nothing in here. Yeah, they're dry. So, put that one in there, and I'm going to put some more nutrient solution and more water in here. Shake, 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 shake. <laughs> um... And so I was going to do my, I think I, the, on the other video, I was calling the synopsis. Look, man, look, I speak like four or five different languages. And when you have all those different languages in your brain, well, well I'm, I'm not going to say everybody else. I'm just going to talk about me. I've got a lot of different languages in my brain. So there's a lot of things that I pronounce wrong when I'm speaking English because I speak these other four languages. But it is a, I think this over here is an A sing, Dapsis. Let me show you. It says um, Satin Pothos, but I think it is a Syndapsis, and I cannot get this to stay in this water either. So I'm going to be doing something to it. I'm going to have to put it in a different um, container because I can't get it to stay in this water. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm gonna cut those leaves off. And um, because with a pothos, you can grow pothos in water. And that's what come, I don't think that this is actually a satin pothos. I think it a it is a syndapsis exotica. That's what I think this plant is. Um, this, um, what are you, this, um, Philodendron red imperial might be pushing up on it and knocking my um plant out. Okay, so let me put some nutrient solution in here. My watering can. So I can do these two um aglanemas. And I wonder what variety this one is. I really do. 
my goal is to find the um the one that i really really want is i want the two-tone moonstone aglaonema that's what i want and i told my husband that's what i want and i expect him to get it he spoiled me a long time ago so you gotta keep it up mister you gotta keep it up So right to there is where I want this one to stand, well to be. And I'm probably gonna end up having to um, get my rocks, get my husband to get the rocks out the truck so I can clean the rocks. Oh shoot, honey, this toilet seat gonna have me over here on the floor with a broke back. So I can get my rocks and put off in there to stabilize the roots to make them um, stick up a little bit better. Oh yeah, I need some more. Um, nutrient water in this water can. So I will more than likely um, I'm gonna come in here tomorrow if I don't forget. I'm gonna come down here tomorrow and I'm going to cut the um, yellow leaves off of this mystery plant over here because I really think it is a uh oh put too much water in here. I really do think it is a syndapsis. This was a whole gallon of distilled water that I would put this nutrient solution in. I have two more plants. No, I have four more plants in my dining room that I need to feed. And these plants are having to up all my nutrient water. And uh, this one is not cheap. Okay, let me stop complaining. I know I got all these plants. Oh, shoot. You, oh, now I'm gonna stink. This stuff just spilled out on me. Oh, let me, let me do it this way. And this stuff stinks. I would say what I call it, but this is a video and I don't want to get banned. Okay, so my leg is gonna smell so bad. I just got out of the shower. So I'm gonna have to go and scrub my leg because it's gonna stink bad, this stuff stinks. So I got this one where I want it to be. And I'm just going to stick it over here. And I will be locking up. I'm going to lock this bathroom door because I don't want anybody coming in this bathroom. I guess they think, oh, Oh, are you covered? Yeah, you're covered. I guess they feel like since this bathroom is down here that they can come use it. Um, no, you can't because this bathroom is in. Oh shoot! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Let me get this over here right. This bathroom is in my bedroom. It's down in my bathroom. Okay, so I'm gonna lock my bathroom door. Tell everybody don't come in here because I do not want them knocking these off of the back of the toilet. So I'm gonna go in here, do some plant maintenance in the dining room. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of um, plant maintenance. Meaning I'm about to cut off some yellow leaves and stems. So what you wanna do first is you want to make sure whatever you're using to cut now this is especially in the vegetable garden you want to make sure that your pruners are sterile before you cut any vegetables or anything like that and also in the houseplant world you want to make sure that what you're cutting is sterile so I'm cleaning it off with um, alcohol and every time you go to a new plant you want to clean this with alcohol so give it time to dry and it's dry. So this is the plant that I'm going to be doing some maintenance on today. I bought it to replace my um, Camille Davenbaca that's over here dying. I'll show it to you. Oh shoot, this thing that came all the way up out of the soil. See, Lowe's don't take care of their plants. I'm going to water that. I just got this plant and it's looking like this. 
So first thing I'm gonna do, let's see if I can do this. Oh wow. Okay, there we go. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the healthier leaf first, and I'm gonna cut right back there. So we can see if we can save that leaf. Where's my trash? There's my trash bag. I'm gonna cut there. So the next leaf I'm going to get is this one. I'm gonna cut there. I'm gonna cut this one. And the reason why these leaves are looking like that is because like I said, lows don't take care of their plants. Uh, get that one. But they did discount it, thank goodness. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh my goodness, it just fell off of my clean lacquer. I got a big pot of clean, big glass pot of clean lacquer over here. But I need to put in a nutrient solution because you want to soak your lacquer in whatever nutrient solution you're going to be growing your plant in. Because you want them to be able to get those nutrients, suck those nutrients up. Okay, so I think I got all of the um, better looking leaves cut. So now I'm going to go in here and cut this yellow leaf out right there. Go in and get that and get rid of that. So I'm just going to cut it right there. Hopefully a new leaf might come back. So, I got that done. I have a fresh pot for it. And my nutrient solution is on the other side. Let me go get this nutrient solution. All right, so I have the nutrient solution and I have it now in its um, fresh pot. And it's pretty, pretty dry. So, this one does have holes in it and the other one does have holes in it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna water this plant until water starts coming out in the cash pot. It's pretty darn dry. Okay, the water is pouring out. And it's probably because it's so freaking dry. But I'm going to let it set in this um, nutrient solution. Let me see if this cash pot is set right here. Oh good, it sits there perfectly. So I'm gonna let that sit in the nutrient solution. And I'm going to clean my scissors. So the next thing I'm gonna try to do is my um, big, <laughs> pretty Deffenbacher that I had, that I have murdered and it's all my fault. And I'll tell you guys later how that happened. So I'm going to get it. I'm going to try to cut all of these um, dead leaves off of it. The ones that's yellowing. Because my goal is to try and save this plant. And if I can't save this plant, I'm going to at least try and propagate cuttings from this plant. I see this leaf is just peeling off. I'm just going to pull, let me see, I'm just going to pull this leaf off. That one, it's gone. In the trash it goes. So the other ones will probably just pull off too. Yep, it is. I don't even need the scissors. Also this one I do. What is that one? Yeah. Yeah. This one. Let me get some of the soil out of this plant. I just took it and plopped it back in the soil to try to dry the roots out a little bit. And I already fed it um, with nutrient solution yesterday. So I don't need to do that anymore because it got it yesterday. What's it? that one off. So my reasoning for cutting off all the bad looking leaves is so the plant can um, 
send this energy to the ones that um, aren't so bad looking. And these are dry. I like this because they got wet when I was um, washing the roots off. So that's all I'm gonna do on this plant. And let's see what it does. So if it steady shows signs of dying, what I'm gonna do, you can see it. Uh, probably not, but there's a little right there. This right here. I'm gonna go in here and cut these canes, cut the cane in pieces and propagate it. And hopefully the propagation works and I can get me a um, another plant off of this. I think, now I do think I'm gonna put some rocks on top of this one, some plant rocks. So it's set up better. <laughs> you heard what I said. Yeah, that's a little bit better for it. Okay, so on to the bad looking Camille. Okay, so this is my Camille, Deffenbacher, Camille Camilla. She was beautiful. I inserted a picture on the um, video, The Addiction is Real. So she was a beautiful plant and I did this to this plant. It's all my fault. Shut up over there and play your game, gamer. So I already cleaned my scissors and they're dry. So I'm gonna go and cut off these yellow parts because they're not gonna come back. So, oh, it's a new plant in there, new leaf coming in there. Come on girl, pull through, pull through. Since I see that new leaf in there, Get that off, get you off the soil. I'm going to get rid of you. Let's see, do you have a leaf coming out? No, so I'm gonna get rid of you. And I might keep you. Right now, but let's get rid of these other ones. So all the energy can focus on healing this plant. Now, the loaves that I got this one from, I'm going to keep frequenting that loaves in hopes that they get some better looking Camille's in, some um, ones that look good like this one. Let me get you off the soil. Because I'm just gonna buy another one. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy another one. And I don't think I'll be able to get cuttings from this one to try to propagate it because the cane is so small. So, got that one done. Pull it up a little bit out of the soil and press that soil down. And you know what? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. I said it yesterday because the inside of this is still damp. So that I mean, I fed it yesterday. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take um, both of these bad ones that's on life support and take them in my bedroom over here so they can be in the dark for a little while. That might help them.